Hi, my name is Jeff. I'm a photographer. I also teach adult education classes as well as specific one-to-ones and small group workshops. I've produced five short films as a basic introduction to photography covering the three elements of exposure, ISO, shutter speed and aperture as well as covering autofocus and RAW versus JPEG. But remember these are five minute films, snapshots of information. The idea of these films is to get you off auto. To make your photography more creative, you need to understand exposure, ISO, shutter speed, aperture. ISO is just a kite mark, an industry standard. Specifically, it relates to film speed. It's dealing with how sensitive to light those pixels are. So the first thing to remember is that all three elements of exposure, ISO, shutter speed and aperture, all have control over how much light enters the camera and they all have one other job. ISO's other job is to control image quality. With film that used to be grain but with digital it's pixels. Ideally you're always going to want to shoot at low ISO numbers but that's not always possible. I'm presuming for the majority of the time you'll take your photos handheld in which case, sometimes using low ISO numbers, you might have to shoot at slow shutter speeds, which will result in camera shake. When you bought a roll of film, the ISO number was written on the canister. Now that film was in your camera, the ISO was set until you'd shot the whole roll of film. One of the great things about digital photography is that you can change your ISO from shot to shot. High ISO numbers in film produced grainy images, whereas high ISO numbers with digital produced pixelated or noisy images. The thing to remember with ISO is that the smaller ISO number you select, the finer the image quality will be for that photograph. Pixels, like grain, record light and colour. The lower the ISO, the more accurately they record light and colour. As soon as you start shooting at high ISO numbers, that's when things get a little messy. Take a look at these photographs. I've taken exactly the same shot at ISO 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600, 3200, 6400, 12800 and 25600. They're the numbers that my camera goes to. Take a look at them and you'll notice what's happening with the pixels as the ISO increases. So when you look at 100, 200, 400 ISO, you see that the colours are very accurately recorded. But as soon as you get into the larger numbers, 1600, 3200, 6400, 12800 and finally 25600, you can see now how the pixels are becoming messy. They're not recording the colour and the light accurately. You need to repeat this experiment with your camera because you need to know how well your camera is coping with high ISO numbers. So try the experiment, but remember when you change your ISO from 100 to 200, effectively doubling the amount of light that's coming into the camera, you need to change your shutter speed. So for example, if you shot at ISO 100 at a 15th of a second, you'll need to shoot ISO 200 at a 30th of a second. You'll need to make sure that the exposure on each frame is accurate. Most modern digital cameras will have an auto ISO setting. That way your camera decides what ISO to select in any given situation. It's a bit like driving an automatic car. You take away one of the elements, in that case the clutch, it makes life a little bit easier. But remember, it's still an automatic setting, so it's not always going to be accurate. And also, if you always leave it on an auto ISO, you don't really have any understanding of how ISO is working and affecting your photographs. So that's a brief introduction to ISO. If you watch the Aperture and the Shutter Speed films, you'll see that I will refer to ISO, a little bit like with driving a car. You can't just learn about the clutch, you have to learn about it in conjunction with the brake and the accelerator. So when I'm talking about ISO, 
I will refer to aperture and shutter speed and when I'm talking about shutter speed I'll refer to the other two. So that's been ISO, the first element of exposure. Hopefully you'll watch the shutter speed and the aperture films that follow. My information's on the bottom of the screen. Happy snapping. I can't believe I said happy snapping. Did I just say that? <laughs>